Welcome to Butler Kendall Rock Wallace today. They don't even know, what, well, they didn't know we was about to do this right now though. So, first of all, tell them where you, tell them your name, your business name, where you're from and everything else. So. Sean and Tanisa, RK Rottweilers. We are from Denver, Colorado. Oh, you want to speak for both of y'all? Absolutely. Hey, he, said it. he said it, okay, cool, my bad, my That's bad. That's how we do it, man. All right, so we got RK Rottweilers in here, in the, I would say in the building, but on the boat. <laughs> we got big tank, tank, tank. Say what's up, man. So we took Tank out here. They came all the way from Colorado. Um, we're gonna do a impromptu uh, questionnaire or whatever. So um, y'all got to speak a little loud. Both motor, both motor. So, all right. So um, let's see. That'd be good for a while. All right, so first question is, now that you guys have officially done your very first litter, give us an ex give us your thought process about before you thought it was going what it was going to be like, during and after, basically what you thought it was going to be like with your first litter, to what it actually was. So I pretty much thought it was going to be exactly what it was, although. It's uh, very underrated the amount of work that we put into it. Um, I'd say the 24-7 care is something that probably caught us by shock a little bit. Uh, but hey, when you got kids, you know, six daughters like we do, we, uh, we adapt and overcame pretty quick. So, what do you think, babe? A lot of work. <laughs> Definitely a lot of work. Don't get into it if you don't have the patience and the time. That's that's for sure. Don't. Yep. A lot of people want to get out there and breed and, you know, for whatever reasons, that's, that's you know, you're neither here nor there, but just be ready. So, I can personally attest to them because I know for sure they have actually, I'm going to be honest, they actually surprised me with the very first litter being that way. I know a lot of people called me and they are just like, man, I cannot do this. This is a lot of work. It is a lot of time, a lot of money, a lot of everything that goes into it. So, before you guys are thinking that you're just going to start breeding and it's going to be just easy, mm -hmm. simple, breed puppies, cute little puppies all day. It's not. I would call Tanisa out late. <laughs> this, <laughs> you know, she's tired. I can hear her voice tired, but she stuck through it every way, did it. Did it with a smile and everything else. So She was definitely the rock. Yeah. She was definitely, definitely the rock, man. Because I was yeah. still working, so she was there with me 24-7. Oh. Turning on these water boats. So we on the water, see a little rocking and stuff or whatever. Um, hold on. I'm going to turn the water Huh? No, it's not. Oh, sorry. Ah. So. So. Second thing would be is. Um. Puppies. What do you think about the puppies as, as from from week to week, from first week to seven weeks? Fast. Uh, first two weeks, they don't have their eyesight. You know, they're kind of stumbling around, so it's a little. It's actually a lot easier. But the minute yeah. they get their eyesight and they get mobile, yeah, watch it's, out. It's a whole different animal. So the first, I'm gonna tell you, I know my basically for me doing this for this long, and it still seems like the first week is like, oh, this is easy. Mama yeah. got him, mama's <laughs> nursing. Yeah. Yep. Second week still like, okay, cool, some yeah. mama. And then y'all got a good mom too. That's just real good. Yeah, so, yeah, she was shout out to old. Duchess Von Haas Butler, good girl. Yeah. So she does pretty good. And then, but sometimes you get moms that just like starts off bad, like they don't want to do it, nothing else. But of course, it all comes down to those mothers' the relationship between you and the dogs yeah. as well. So um, that's that's always a good thing. Yeah. The second week is pretty much like okay, cool. That third week you start to see the mamas like, hey, look, y'all want these babies? <laughs> y'all come stick you. Yep. They're still kind of in between. And then four, fifth, six weeks, you just kind of like, my God, I love it. But my God, there's a lot of work that goes into it. So, yeah, um, yeah absolutely. Don't get into it if you ain't ready to put the time into it, that's for sure. And a lot of sacrifices. People don't understand the sacrifices you make when you actually have dogs. I mean, even from yeah. going out, friends going out, you're not even there. Even going to dinner. Yeah. You yeah. Know, yeah. You can't just do, when you have three-week-old puppies, you can't just go out to dinner for two hours and come back and you know it's time yeah 
because it, it's taken us like years before we went on vacation because we had a dog this thing but you definitely want to make sure that you make time for them because it's, it takes very simple before something can happen that you wish you would have been there um, you know simple mistakes as well um, as well sit back on that um, one of the other things is um, so timing is very very crucial thing as far as these dogs patience is a key I mean, Absolutely. it's gonna make your household argument <laughs> argumentative. <laughs> hey, we we had a little bit of that. Uh, we had a little bit of that. If coronavirus don't break you up, a goddamn litter will. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> listen, listen, I can attest to that. You know? Absolutely. Puppies will attest your relationship Man. to the fullest. Yes, they do. Why didn't you do this? You're yeah. supposed to do this. You didn't do it. I thought you was gonna do it. Oh my God, I'm tired of the smell and this and that. Yeah. You just clean up and there's a bunch of poop back again, over and over again. So, um, yeah, it's nonstop. Big boy. Sure. Yeah, so definitely that, man. So like I it's said. It's worth it, though. It's definitely. It's worth when you it. see those happy homes and they pick up their puppies, they feel good about it. You feel good. It is a blessing to see that as well, too. So it makes it all worth it. Yeah. Um, There's so, also a financial investment that goes into that that I think we underestimated. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. of the constant care of the food, the way you have to prepare the food. Um, nothing's cheap. Nothing's cheap. So we're going to get into it. Yeah, also be financially able to care for these dogs the same way. So that goes into, my bad. Yeah. That kind of goes into what people always ask me. Why your dogs cost this or cost that or Absolutely. whatever. Absolutely. It's more to it than just the puppies you see. It's the care of the parents, the, the raising parents, the dogs and everything else. And then you go into the actual care of the mother, the vet bills and everything else or whatever. So you're not just paying for a puppy for like eight weeks old. You're paying for everything that went into it. Things that you don't even think about. The simple pee, pee pads and this and going to the store getting that, getting that, getting this. The shop. Laundry detergent, well, washing yeah. every day. Yeah, I mean, you get it. It adds up. And then not only that, you know, once you try to wean the pups off of the mom, man, goat milk is like $5 for a pint. Ooh, yeah. Like I'm like... Yeah. yeah. But a lot of people just think that, oh, when the mom is pregnant, the mom just okay. feeds them all up until the time oh. to go home, and they think that's That's, that, that's so. the misconception, man, that, yeah. that all you do is just have a dog that has puppies, and then boom, they just, you're supposed yeah. to kind of give it away because there's no work into it. The mom yeah. did it all. No. Yeah, she did it all the first two weeks, like you mom said. Gets and then, tired uh, too. Oh, yeah, and then mom needs a break, then, you know, you don't want to overstress mom so much to where mom just don't want to be there anymore. Yep. That's the biggest thing, too. People think they just go to work, leave the mom with the puppies, and it's just natural for them to do that. But mm -hmm. they get exhausted and they don't want to be bothered anymore, but you don't want them to get to the point where they've stressed out, where they don't want to even go back. Yeah, they just neglect the them all together after that, yeah. Um, also, and you can see that going into the sixth, seventh week, you can really see them kind of and away from them a lot more. <laughs> so, definitely, definitely. So you guys understand, man, there's a lot of work that goes into this, a lot of time. That's why right now we're actually on the boat now because we got to take a little break. You know, these guys deserve it. Especially, he's still working. They're both still working. Coming back with these dogs back and forth, driving from Colorado, coming straight to Texas. And then just still, I mean, they're up and going and going and going and going. So I definitely commend you guys, man. Truly, truly appreciate commend it, you guys. man. We couldn't have done I'm it without you, bro. I'm proud of you guys. We couldn't have done I it without mean, you, and that's real talk. Yeah. That's real talk. So we appreciate you for everything you did, guiding us through it. Yeah. I mean, everything. setting us up with these bloodlines. Oh, my God. These dogs are just beautiful, <laughs> beautiful dogs. Yeah, like we said, man, we, we started off as, I mean, when Sean first came the very first time, it was like we hit it off immediately, man. I mean, it was like family, but that's like everybody who all comes to the house. Y'all guys know, man, we treat everybody the same. We love everybody the same. But then, you know, some people are just going to stand out a little bit more or whatever. He talked about what his goals were, what he wanted. You can see the sincerity about what he wanted. Um, and we made it happen, man. Um, I love seeing. Huh? So we definitely did. Yeah, yeah. And definitely just seeing progression, man. You know, some people talk about it and you don't really see them really wanting it. They just want to see. They see the houses and the stuff people have and doing things and they just want to get that but you guys really did understand the concept of getting to that level of what it was the work that goes into it um as well so uh big shout out to you guys for that man um but if it was easy everybody would do it right yeah <laughs> everybody, everybody thinks people. it's easy but if it was easy everybody, everybody would, do, would it. do it there's no easy come up it's not about the money no. 
down. We're not in it for you know the dogs themselves. Because you're gonna lose the first couple of years. I'm telling you, you're gonna absolutely. Lose. You, you're gonna you're gonna take these losses, man. Absolutely. I mean, and if you're doing it, I remember taking losses the first couple of years. It was like, why am I doing this, man? I'm, but then you remember the reason why you're doing it, the love of it, and if you love it, it's gonna fall in place or whatever as well. So, first, and big shout out to the camera woman, Therese, hey. on the camera. Everybody, get Therese on the floor. Love the over there. Steady hand. <laughs> Even all this wave going. Right, the Thank steady you. Hands. Shout out to AJ for being kind of quiet during the video, right? He's like, nah, dad, I just want to have fun in the water. That's um, my young bucks right there. Oh, yeah. So, um, next week, uh, these puppies will be going home. Yes, sir. Um, you know, get permanent homes. Congratulations sure, to everybody getting them. Y'all sure y'all don't want to um, no. take them back another week? <laughs> yeah, no, sir. Sure. No, sir. Sure. <laughs> we have brought them. They're going to go home. Everybody enjoy them. So, you guys go follow. Like I said in, in the video before, they don't know about it, but uh, I made a video, the first part of the video, that said um, we're going to get them started with a YouTube channel as well, too. They don't have it yet. But follow their Facebook page, um, RK Rockwallers. Um, are you going to change your um, personal page? And yeah, yeah, I'm going to change the name on the personal page and just keep the business the same. So okay. it'll be RK Rottweilers. All right, so the business page is RK Rottweilers. As of right now, he has a personal and business page the same, but follow that on that. Um, we got some big things going in stores, man. The stove, I mean, I'll tell you, the puppies, the videos, the dogs, and all that kind of stuff is going to, uh, we're going to do more videos like these, dogs out of the water, just a whole blast full of stuff, man. Keep you guys know a lot of crazy stuff in this world right now but you want to see some positivity going on right now keep our heads clear um definitely so uh, stay tuned man follow the pages and uh see where we at um you know you could yep. no you're not getting in there <laughs> he's a captain or something but um that's pretty much about it, man. Just want to let you guys see exactly what work goes into it. And even still, as much as they tell you, you're still not going to really understand all no. the work that goes into it. Absolutely They're not even not. touching on half of the stuff, man. I mean, we're not even covering it. Until you get a camera and you follow us 24 hours a day. Um, and everyone just thinks the hardest thing is picking up food. Like, oh, I can pick up food from dude. That's the simplest thing in the world. Absolutely. Like, um, But it's a lot of stress, a lot of things go into it. But it's very much rewarding when done right. So... Uh, again, commend you guys on that RK Rockballers, man. It is a, and this is a group effort. And the reason I Absolutely. love this here, man, because they work together. Um, anybody that tells me they did it by themselves is a liar. I mean, Absolutely. I can't. I don't care what. So, uh, man, I came down here all gray. <laughs> <laughs> I got some highlights and all, but I did that well, by myself. You see so my gray. And this is the first time you guys, well, not first time, but you really don't want to see me without my hat on. But it's nah, all... he didn't bring the hat on purpose. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Hey, hey, look. Fuck. Fuck. Show it, babe. Show it. Damn. You gotta show that. Hey, I still represent. I don't care. Look, you go down to the... Let's see. Hold up. You gotta go down to the wallet and represent. <laughs> hey, look. <laughs> look. I represent it somewhere. It's a, oh, wait, wait. Hold up, hold up. Don't look at my shoe. My foot. Your now. foot. Bam. You know what I'm saying? You gotta represent somewhere. But, oh, speaking of which, I know I've been saying this a lot, but... I'm going to stop wearing Falcon stuff, and it's going to be a lot of Butler Kennels and tires and stuff, apparels and stuff. So we are going to be working on that right there as well. So we will be having Butler Kennels. We're going to start with the shirts and hats and all that kind of stuff. And eventually we're going to get the, yeah, Butler Kennel Rottweilers. Mm -hmm. Yep, we're going to have the shirts and we're going to have the hats. We're going to have all these stuff forever. Got you. Okay, got you. Got you. All right. <laughs> so we're gonna have all the tires and stuff, and y'all guys ready to see those as well. So we're working on that. Um, anything else y'all want to say? Ah, man, it's just been a blessing, man. We appreciate you, bro. We really appreciate y'all. So I support this. support people too. I see a lot of that on the Facebook, man. Just you know, we're all out here trying to do the same thing. You know, there's no need for all the hatred and you know trying to stab each other in the back, man. Support each other. If you see somebody trying to do something good, you know, support them. Yeah, yeah. There you go. And then even those that do hate, man, even those that are hating are probably those that are just jealousy and wondering why they're in the same boat they're at. I am successful at this dog breeding thing. Everybody knows it. It's no big thing or whatever. But I love to see other people be successful as well. When he got on board, the first thing he did was say, man, I'm riding with you, man. I see what you got going on. You follow the format that's working. If it's working, you follow it. And I have... I'm not saying I have all the knowledge of everything, but what I do have, I'm willing to share it with others and let them be successful as well in their own right. Of course, they got their own spin on it, their own touch on it, 
and everything else. But um, definitely, man, I love it. So when I see people out there reaching out, that's actually uh, wanting to do positive things and be better, man, I'm all for it and love to see that. Absolutely. So this is not it. End of the video. You're going to see some more videos. We're going to, we're going to be at the house grilling out, cooking, because he think he cook. He think he can grill better than everything else. So, so you're going to see some steaks and some ribs and stuff. Well, since you think you can cook better than us, I got all the steaks and ribs. You cook everything for everybody, man. I cook the steaks. You ain't, man, don't threaten me with a good time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, he said you're going to use the old grill. We're going to use the new grill. <laughs> <laughs> That's where all the flavors at, yo, man. Yeah. Well, all right. We'll you bleach the old grill down. <laughs> we'll bleach it down. Shit. So, you guys stay tuned, man. We're going to be back. That's not it. We're about to go enjoy this water. I'm going to put the phone down for a little bit. On the way coming up here, you guys going to see some videos, flying. incorporated pictures and all that stuff into this video of us coming out here. Actually, this is the first time we've been out here together, um, period. This is my first time this far out. Normally, I stay way out there, but we we went miles and miles and miles yeah. out here in Florida. Right? It is beautiful. None of this is ours. Yet, but so. Sorry, one day. <laughs> one day, hopefully. Um, so, thank you guys. Stay tuned. Be blessed.